a year after launching the DTE K50 and DTE K60, which were essentially just Alcatel Idol clones, BlackBerry Mobile is back with something of its own flavor. The BlackBerry Motion is here in its big, keyboardless glory. While boiled down to its most basic description, it's a rectangle phone with a touch screen, there's plenty about this phone to ensure you can't confuse it with any other. It somehow still retains that BlackBerry flavor. While different to the key one in so many ways, its overall form is one that indicates the two are from the same family. The two corners on the bottom of the phone are rounded, while the top corners are squared off, just like the key one. Everything else, however, is different. Instead of having curved edges all the way around the sides and the bottom, the motion only has one rounded edge, and that's the plastic edge at the top. The rest are flat metal with chamfered, angled edges on the front and back, and finished in an attractive dark grey. Add this to the overall very solid feel of the device and the soft touch Kevlar-like effect on the back and you have a phone that looks and feels like a proper, serious phone. It's unique, and somehow still understated and classy. Switching things up from the previous three Android B Berry phones, the power slash sleep key is now on the right edge, just below the volume rocker. About an inch below that is the programmable convenience key. Because this key is easier to reach with the right thumb, we've found ourselves instinctively reaching for this, trying to use it as the power button. The fact it's textured doesn't help matters much. We feel this button should be on the other side to save confusion. Or, at the very least, the power button should be textured to indicate its prominence. The one sticking point is the bottom bezel, or the chin of the phone. It's considerably larger proportionally than virtually any other phone, and seemingly for little reason. There's a smallish rounded rectangle home button with a built-in fingerprint sensor and, for better or worse, a BlackBerry logo on it, and this is flanked by the capacitive back and recent apps buttons. On a phone which already has a large 5.5 inch display, you can only imagine how big that makes this phone. It's large. It's thicker, wider, and taller than an iPhone 8 Plus, and comfortably overshadows the key one, which has a built-in four-row physical keyboard. One major plus this time around is the addition of water and dust resistance. It's IP67 rated which means it fits right alongside many of today's big-name flagship phones. With the included nano-diamond coating on the screen for scratch resistance, this phone should handle any of your regular mishaps. Still, despite its size, it's a mostly great-looking and great-feeling phone. Its solid feel juxtaposed brilliantly with its surprisingly lightweight in the hand. With a logo-less home button and a smaller chin it could be even better though.